you've got complicated issues. Because in the old days, life was pretty easy. Uh, the load was fairly predictable and stable. This generation is 24-7, real time, all the time, everything from electricity. But it is a serious threat to the business community who has only one basic concern is when I hit that switch 10 years from now, are my lights going to go on? And the second question is, as I make a decision whether to stay in New York as an operating company, uh, what's my cost of power and what kind of power breaks can I get? The demand for energy, and it's both electricity and natural gas, uh, continues to grow. We are becoming more reliant as a state on natural gas uh, to make electricity. You know, if you're relying on that fuel and you don't have enough fuel diversity, if that price goes back up, well, guess what? Your, not just your gas bill is going up, your electricity bill is going up. Even though you've got globally traded commodities and a global market, what's happening at the state and local level is really having an impact on what you pay either to heat your homes or your businesses or what you pay for gasoline at the pump. There are some projects that should not be built. And I voted no on a couple projects. Uh, and the, it, it's the test of what is in ultimately the public interest. Serious questions have emerged uh, with respect to this high voltage uh, DC line. First of all, is a realization that it doesn't help unlock the upstate, the excess upstate power. It also, actually exports uh, jobs uh, to Canada, and it's relatively expensive. In the end, it will involve or include transmission facilities or the addition of transmission facilities, establishing uh, generating sources, more demand management and energy efficiency, energy efficiency programs. Also recognize the continued reliance on clean, reliable economic sources that are in place now, such as uh, Indian Point. Nuclear Energy Institute did a study of the economic impact of Indian Point on this region. They, they attributed Indian Point to $750 million a year in economic benefits that extend to uh, Westchester and the surrounding counties. They employ 1,100 people at, at the facility. You just can't close a plant without repercussions, and the repercussions in the case of Indian Point would no doubt be more severe than Shoreham, which was in an isolated part of Long Island. We're trying to clean up the air environment, and so it's a emissions-free facility, and so we're gonna see higher air emissions. It's a major source of voltage support for, for the uh, upstate, downstate uh, grid. So, I mean, when you add that all together, I, I just can't imagine uh, not having Indian Point or taking any measures to shut it down. Mm -hmm.